have this other there is none you see you can't have a controversy when the quarterbacks have no history and no experience you take number 16 Kevin Thompson for Penn State he comes in he's been in the system for four years but he hasn't had a start he hasn't really thrown a touchdown pass he stands 6 5 he can see over that big line and look at number 12 the other young man involved in this too some Rashard Casey now he's not as big again he doesn't have a start he's a little faster afoot but Joe Paterno says he's worked very hard on straight drop back control and Keith I think Joe will look at the two give them a fair chance and whichever one shows the leadership that's the guy that gets a job for the long term all right 20s Penn State will kick it off to Southern Mississippi to begin this first meeting ever between these two teams and Travis Forney has kicked it through the Southern end zone. Steady citizen Lee Roberts, who passed the 2,200 yards last season. They throw on first down. The man Gideon is wide open, and they've got a first down on the first play of the ball game at the 34-yard line. The Penn State defense up front. These guys have had a long offseason. They remember vividly what happened in the last two games of last year. They got a run over. In the linebacking core, it's another good group with number 43, Brandon Short, leading them. He's an outstanding player. The defensive backs are not very big, but as usual, they'll knock your head off. Macklin and Lee particularly. First down and 10 for Southern Miss from just short of the 35-yard line. Roberts on an option, rolls it out. The pass is incomplete. The hit was put on Nolan by number 27, David Macklin, and the ball cast. The referee is Jim Kimmeling, the Big Ten crew. And Roberts hands it up inside. Brandon Francis. Double wide, top of the picture, out of the shotgun. Roberts over the middle, it goes. They've got their first down. Dwayne Woods is in the backfield. Put it in the air. Air under it. Pass is caught. Beautiful catch by Sherrod. Oh, way to go to school. Roberts back. Passes away, and he missed his man. He had Gideon with the whole time. Snap was high, but the placement's good, and the kick's on the way, and he missed it. And so Southern Mississippi is turned away because Lee Roberts missed a wide open survive. Kevin Thompson at quarterback for them. Kevin Thompson is out of Gathersburg, Maryland. Big guy, weighs about 220 pounds. The offensive front looks pretty solid. It's certainly the biggest one Penn State's ever had with four 300-pounders up there. And they hand it off to Cordell Mitchell, who in actual fact, when you go back to the springtime, you might have said Cordell would have been fourth or fifth. The Chile starting lineup now for Penn State. We mentioned the big guys up front. Only guard Ryan Fagan. He's four pounds short of that mark. The wide receivers, the senior Joe Nastasi is the possession fellow. Very tough, very good player. In the uh, running back core, that's where they're weak. Cordell Mitchell is the only experience at tailback. All the others who you see there today will be freshmen. And the starting fullback is a sophomore who's played very little. So here goes Cordell Mitchell, who has blazing speed. And there's a sample of it right there for the Lions. And the ball off to Mitchell running in traffic. Cordell will fight his way down. Starting, Keith, because uh, some of the other running backs that should have been here were Curtis Enos left early for the NFL. Aaron Harris uh, is injured, as is Eberly and Watson. And uh, Cleary, who was supposed to be the starting fullback, uh, transferred to Shippensburg. Uh, he was the fullback and a heck of a blocker. So they're, they're without uh, five... Uh, running backs in that uh, backfield that really test their depth and it's third down and a short yard all goes to the fullback Saramelli and Mike Saramelli bangs his way across the 20 yard line for a first down in motion seven plays this is the first pass of the ball game for the Lions and it's completed to Jones uh, about uh, first of the year five man defensive front ball given to Cordell Mitchell Mitchell down to the one yard line Saramelli one pass play the rest of it runs 70 yard march he plays 70 yards to take the lead seven to nothing he Robert hands it off to Francis he's got a problem loses a yard Brad Spioli number second 50. down 11 they go to the shotgun 
Passes underneath and uh, loss on the play. Is coming through to make the defensive play is Anthony King. A corner on Brandon Francis. Perinelli, the man in motion. Thompson's pass is going down the middle and it is caught by Joe Anastasi. From behind the defense. Play action pass, first down. Not a perfect throw, but it's something to build on. You have to listen for him to go by. You have trouble seeing him. Ball is given to Cordell Mitchell, and running behind that great big old offensive line that he up to the challenge so far. And he's got it again, and he's got Baylight for the first down. And then some. Good outfit. Thompson back, throw. Little bit late with it, little bit soft with it, but Sarah Melly has the patience to three wait. Three out of three for 44 yards, and easy stays on the field. Thompson back throwing and to the sidelines to Sarah Melly down. Like this situation. Aaron and Selling with Nastasi in fields on the left side. He looks that way, goes to Nastasi, got his hand on it. Ball Last year, him. his long was 47. This is his first one, obviously. It's from 29 yards. Honey a leg. And good. So at 2.36 to go in the first quarter, it's 10-0 Penn State. Pass down the sidelines. Caught. Gideon's got it up. And then front. Four down. Hand it off to Wood. Dwayne Wood. Roberts pass. Thrown hard. Caught by Sherrod Gideon. And it's inside the clock. Robert's trying to set up a wide receiver screen out there in the 10. Out of the shotgun. Lee Robert steps away, can't step away. Courtney Brown, number 86, got a hold of his screen. Go ahead and run the Telestrator. Now he's ready to throw, stop it right there. Hey, nope, nobody's open. 42-yard field goal try now by Tim Hardaway. He missed from 47. And he's going to miss from 42. Get a step to the front. Second down and nine from the 26-yard line. And Casey sets it up and throws a hummer down the middle, and it is caught. Nailed right on the chest of Contro Brown. Pop. First down and 15. It's Cordell Mitchell with the ball. And I'm waiting to see Casey take off. That ball is thrown quickly over the line of scrimmage. It's Mitchell. Down inside the traffic. You just saw. All right, penalty flags all over the place. Probably going to be a holding call. Look at this, Casey. Beautiful. He can't run. Oh, my God. <laughs> From the 40-yard line, all got it away somehow, and the pass is completed to uh, Sam. Handed up inside to Dwayne Wood. That's Kingston going in motion. Roberts gets good protection. The pass is away, and Gideon cannot get to it. And down and ten. Oh, lucky to get it. See that Macklin on him right there. Yeah, Macklin. Yeah, Macklin. Mm -hmm. Didn't you look pretty good the other night? Yeah, they don't just get that team to nothing. Mm -hmm. Bruce, you should have come up and made the catch. You had more daylight then than you do now. First string offensive unit is back in along the line of scrimmage. Here's the pass thrown on the numbers to Joe Nastasi. From behind the uh, quarterback. Nastasi got loose that time. Who is a true freshman? Number eight. Almost got caught moving down the big hole over the right side. Eric Matu. All the way to the five yard line. He tackled. McKenzie, 67, and Wedderburn, number 69. As you mentioned, Keith, a true freshman. And it's first and goal, Penn State, with Easy, the single back. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. That's what powerful legs and 243 pounds can.
Just not letting anybody get to his legs. Hands and him short, steps up into the gap, looking right in the eye. Robert steps back and lets it go and passes caught by Sherrod Gideon. Sherrod Gideon with nine catches now and 99 yards. And Brad Schiele runs down the quarterback. Schiele, who was a number five. He wears that number because he was a quarterback in high school. He just grew out of that size and came here. It's his Pressure, let it out. Grant circles under it at the 48-yard line. Just comes back up the field. North and south. Down to the 20. A 32-yard return. Take a look here from the end zone. This poor tackling. And a nice job of running. I'll tell you what, Bob. They've got a bunch of young ones that can run. They've got, they've got high school All-Americans all over this roster for Penn State. McCoo again. Third down and six. And that time they blew it up. Who has made one from 29. Sprell puts it down to get plenty of leg on it. And down the highway. So it is. Passes away down the sidelines. Can you catch that? Uh, one up at the top. So there's three wideouts in there. And Robert's back. Skiol is after him. They throw it underneath. The pass is caught. And it's caught for about a three. Passes away. Deep sideline. Caught by Gideon. The pass is complete with two Good kicks play. remaining. Oh, bad snap. My goodness. Keith Caton had to get away from him, and so Southern Miss loses the 29-yard field goal opportunity, and they go to the clubhouse with no points. Hmm. All from the 29-yard line. Thompson will play action and set inside the 15-yard line. Ooh. Defensive end. Uh -oh. So on third and <clears throat> mile and a half, Casey rolls it right. Takes off with it and runs up the ball back. Pat Pigeon's punt. Not very long on the bounce. It's loose. Lions have it on the way to the end zone. Mac Morrison, touchdown. Kevin Thompson comes back for Penn State. And gives it to Cordell Mitchell. And playing the kicking game. They've given up field position with the special teams. What, once again, they've now given two of them along the line yeah. there, so. Mitchell again. Kevin Thompson to the corner. It's a touchdown. Caught by Joe Nastasi. Well, and he looks like he's uh, very tender. There's the whack. Ooh. He never saw the touchdown, but there's the catch that he didn't see. But you know, when he threw it, he knew that it was. A good good. Good. That's the quarter of the first down. Bad <laughs> hanging her head. Yeah. Robert hit from behind and now throws off the down. season. That was a 12-yard penalty. Third down and 22 now. And Robert chased out of the pocket, trying to take off with it. Touchdown. He looked like the body and the ball was across, but they mark him out just a yard short. Good throw. I think that because a touchdown. The ball like the ball was the ball, if the ball crosses the plane. Let's see. Stick the ball in there. His foot is not out of bounds yet. Yeah, that's a good uh, good uh, touchdown. Not a, not a very good call. Himself today. Uh, penalty flag. Illegal movement in the offensive line, probably. But yep. uh, Thompson has had a had a big day, no question about it. That umpire steps up there and, uh, and throws Ball it on start. the ground. Uh, you know. did, uh, Kevin today. Thompson's in there right now. Yep. He gives it to Cordell Mitchell, and he's short. He gets that five yards back. It's Mike Saramelli, second touchdown of the day.
Wedderburn and McKenzie. And left side of that offensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they try the run. That should be in there. Ball is thrown into the ground, incomplete. And and both quarterbacks need that, Bob. I mean, they, they just need that playing time. But they've both been around the program. Easy leaves them on third and one, so they give it back to uh, big number 30, Marcus McPhee. 300 pounders hold on to it. Second down, 13, pass them. Two yards okay. passing and a couple touchdowns. Lee Roberts goes big for Sherrod Gideon. And uh, that's another big one that, that part of the country. Part of the country, you're right. Again, at connection between Lee Roberts, he's the all-time leading receiver. He's uh, set game records today on both catches and yardage. And here's the ball lofted into the sidelines. And go back to Woods. Touchdown. Ohio State in Columbus. Omar Easy. First down from the 41. Oh, swing it out to Mustassi. First man missed him, second man missed him, third man got it. <laughs> All loose, picked up by Southern Mississippi. Fumble. Do you love it? Down behind the line of screen. Roberts gets it off. It's caught. Guard Casey. He's in at the quarterback spot. Eric McCoo is the running back, and Mr. McCoo has the ball. And runs for all. This is easy. Richard getting a little heat from the backside. Uh oh, spins it off the side of his foot, but it's a tail dragger, and uh, it's going to roll on down the field. And he winds up pretty good kick. Let it roll, let it roll. $1,000,000, and they have done that. They stay on the ground, and now they're, I think, interested in getting back to the way charter, and it was a 727, and I don't know if he had any success or not, because I haven't seen a 727 come in here to land. This is Kelby's in financial need, a Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter of a century. Rush Maney carrying again on that play. And we're just running out the clock, frankly. And we're going to have some time for some scores and information from John Saunders and Todd Blackman. So Southern Miss came north to play Penn State. One of the traditions in college football. Uh, been a great program for a long, long time. They knew and could be a long trip. And it has been kind of a long afternoon, but it has been one they can build on both sides, both Penn State and Southern Mississippi. Final score, Penn State 34, Southern Mississippi 6.